Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's better to have individual hypotheses. Because what did I say we were going to do tomorrow? I love it. It was it was a nice little surprise. I mean, there's lots of people doing lots of great stuff in this district. So, but it is nice to be like recognized a little bit. Uh, so I have worked for the school district. This is my third year. Um, and I've been a teacher for three and a half years. I was originally thinking I wanted to be a scientist. When I was doing my graduate work, I got to work with a lot of high school kids. Um, and that was kind of the first, like, oh, this is kind of cool. It's like fun to work with these kids. Like they're learning stuff for the first time. But I ended up working at Portland State as an advisor. While I worked at PSU, I enrolled in the evenings to get my teaching license. But I grew up in Madras, I was born here. And when I saw that they needed a life science teacher, it was almost like a sign. So I teach college biology and college environmental science. And so they're like at the point where you get to like help them decide what they want to do with the rest of their lives. And that's like a big honor. You get to have a bigger impact on the kids. At the high school level, you also get to build these amazing relationships with these kids. Our lab today, we're in our third unit, so we're looking at the, how cells are able to diffuse things across their plasma membrane. It's called simple diffusion, and this lab is a really good, easy way to watch simple diffusion across the test tube. My biggest success as a teacher is not teaching science. You're first working with kids and people and humans, and the relationship you develop is going to determine whether you are going to teach them anything. My biggest success is figuring out how to manage my class so that I develop a strong relationship with the kids, but at the same time I have very high expectations and I expect them to reach high, the study jams. I just thought it might be kind of a nice way to get the kids, because when they get to college, like half of their week is just gonna be studying with their friends. So at the Dairy Queen one, we had 67 kids. We filled up Dairy Queen, but it was just really cool to see every single table, graphing, going over the concepts, doing vocab, having a good time like realizing that studying can be fun if you do it with a friend. The best part about Madras High School is that this is a really tight-knit community where everybody's working towards success, I feel like. I mean, we have our hiccups, we have our trouble, but uh, it feels like a family. We're all working together.